Hi, my name is Alyssa Howard. I am from Pasquale High School and I am doing the marketing case study. I'm starting my 20 minute timer for prep time now. Oh. Now.
Okay. Now I be setting it for seven minutes. I'm starting seven minute timer. Now. Oh, it's not. Okay. Starting the seven minute timer now. Okay, so in this scenario, um, Promark's company is trying to market a different way. They only have one pin. And this, um, I think, is a big issue with their marketing strategy. Um, not only are they marketing towards a mass market, the only option they have for pins is one. So what needs to be done for changing the market and getting to a wider range of people is um, widening their selection of pins. They need to have colored pins, wide tip pins, calligraphy, fine tip. There needs to not just be one type of pin. I think this will also interest more people because if people have a certain preference of pin they like to use and this is an offer but they like the brand then they're not going to be inclined to buy from this company so they need to expand the role of e-commerce does play a big role in this market strategy that they have um it spreads information quickly advertisements are on social media on websites and if you click on it it takes you straight to the website it makes it very easy for the customer to quickly buy the product share the product and they will quickly get the product without even having to leave their home so e-commerce does really help with this product but it could also affect how the product is being sold because Maybe some people don't really use the internet or like to order stuff online. They need to have this option in store as well. So consumer practices when if it's online or in store, people can easily steal if it's in stores, um, which will make the prices increase because the company's not getting paid for this product that's being stolen. Same with online. If someone tries to return it, but doesn't actually send it back and says that it was lost in the mail or whatnot, that will also increase the price. The target market, the concept of it is the company aims towards a certain group of customers. So, like, in this case, the um, Promark company is targeting the mass market and they really need to be targeting towards segmented um a segmented group people that will frequently use them this is where market segmentation comes into play um this divides the market based on geographic uh geographic psychographic demographic and behavioral factors so in this case the promark company for demographic usage would need to look at a country or city, countries that are like third world countries that probably wouldn't use a pen, maybe stay away from advertising to those um, like countries and cities because they're wasting money on a group of people that wouldn't be inclined to buy this product. With psychographic, um, the interest and feelings of how people feel for this like brand and product, this might impact how this brand comes across, the company comes across, because if someone feels 
like they don't like the pen that is being sold and they would rather have more options, then they won't recommend the product maybe or they just won't buy it. And that is also why the Promark company needs to expand their range of pens, their types of pens. With the country and city was geographic with demographic, age and occupation, they wouldn't market towards kids or people that aren't able to write. It's towards a certain group of people. Um, as well with behavioral, it's the usage, the interest that and the intent that people have. People who need it are gonna buy it. But this all comes to play um, with not only like how it's used with companies, but how it you like how it impacts this company directly is more that if people aren't going to use it or if they're advertising in the wrong area, they're wasting money. They need to target certain groups of people and segment their target groups in order to efficiently get this product across to other people. Technology can impact how this is marketed because it enables a larger range of people to see the product. People who often watch TV, they will see it. People who use social media or on the internet of any sort, um, they will see these advertisements. So this efficiently advertises the product and efficiently gets the product to people, allowing them to buy it. This is e-commerce technology is definitely something that companies need to have available as an available option because this will help with their sales. There's no doubt about that with this generation, with the century, like the technology is a big thing, a big thing that everybody uses. And they can obtain this market data to see who will buy them or how people feel by reading reviews, having surveys, attaching surveys into the box of the pins when they're delivered so people can give their feedback and then they know what they need to change. So overall, the products need to be different. They should market on websites and in places customers would go, Staples, Michaels, Target, etc. cetera. Um, the, the market that is going to see them is going to go to places like that and that is where they need to be marketed. Instead of mass market, they need to narrow down into segments and think about the people that are gonna use the item and they need different options than a, only one pin. So that is what I have to say about that. Okay, thank you.